Hi everyone, it's Cameron with um, the Center for Snake Conservation. Time for another episode of Snake Spiration. Today, even though the poor lighting, we're going to talk about arboreal snakes. And we're going to watch this carpet python and watch its ability to bridge, watch that, bridge and climb a gap or cover a gap and then be able to climb a tree or, or whatever it is. So watch it, you'll do it again here. Check that out. Now, carpet pythons, like just like this little baby one, it gets to about a six foot snake, and as, as the smaller they are, the more arboreal they are. You know, a big heavy bodied snake, it really isn't gonna wanna climb a tree. But their whole musculature inside this snake is designed for holding the snake up as it's reaching across a gap, just like it's doing right here and right now. Um, there's other species of snake which can't climb a lick. I mean, literally, honestly, cannot climb anything. All right, so let's see if we can get this little guy back. Um, getting really active here on me. But you saw how it climbed across that gap. Here we go. It'll do it again here. And snake is giving me a dirty look. Uh, there we go. So watch it. It's going to climb to me now, maybe, and climb over my face. But um, where were we? I can't even think about where we were. Okay. Climbing, climbing snakes. Yep, there it went. <laughs> right in my face. Um, I'm a big threat to this snake. And the more my mouth moves, the more I'm threatening it. So... Um, Just to give you an idea, pythons, like this carpet python, have rows of heat sensitive pits on both their top and bottom jaw. And now what this snake is keying into is my arm is fine. It's a definitely a, it's the tree branch. But what the, what's happening now, right here, is this is moving big time. And what is it, what am I expelling? What's the hottest part of my body right now? It's my head and when I talk, my breath. And the snake really isn't liking that very much. So I'm going to try and get the snake to focus on something else. There we go. Um, and so now it will climb elsewhere. But um, this climbing snake here is pretty fascinating in that they have their entire musculature and their bone structure is different from that of a ground dwelling snake they can't climb. Or um, say a rattlesnake, which is just designed for, for sitting and, and, and a sit awake predator instead of a climb the tree and go get your, your prey predator. I wish I had a snake skeleton on me right now so I could show that to you, but really just for the snake inspiration, I just wanted you guys to see the snake climbing. <laughs> it's just amazing for them to be able to have that musculature and bone structure that they can climb. I mean, they're just ribs and, ribs and vertebrae. Um, looking at me again. Okay. So, as you notice, the snake has no problem with my hands. It's my mouth and the movement of my eyes and my mouth that, and all the heat coming from my face that the snake takes exception with. And this is, this is a, a small snake, a baby snake. As it gets older and as it gets bigger and we can hold it more, that will completely go away. It gets used to people. But, um, today's Giving Tuesday. And I wanted to remind everybody, if you haven't already, to make a donation um, to the charity of your choice. And I would love it if you made it to the Center for Snake Conservation. As you know, we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, so your donation will be tax deductible if you keep those sort of records. Um, and, God, it's just a beautiful snake. And, Nonprofits such as the Center for Snake Conservation do not completely rely on donations um, in, in addition to their grants and other sorts of, of oddball fundraising, uh, you know, a fundraising event, to, to operate. And as a Center for Snake Conservation, we're a very small organization. We don't need a ton of money, but we do need money to make sure that snakes are healthy and that we can take them to classrooms and we can provide programs like this for you. 
And I know this isn't, I need better lighting and all that sort of stuff, but hey, send me a check and say, hey, I want the, I want your, um, that to go to lighting. Who knows? Whatever. But what I just wanted to say to you guys is today, oh, there we go. Let's get the snake in the picture, not me. That today is Giving Tuesday. And after you've already spent all your money on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, might as well just dig out the pennies and donate them to the charity of your choice. And I would be honored and ecstatic if you chose the Center for Snake Conservation. All right, so I just is a carpet python just out there reaching out. Um, uh, arboreal snake that can climb extremely well. And just wanted to show you that. And we'll do some more snake exploration another day. All right, thanks, and we'll talk to you later. And remember, it's Giving Tuesday, www.snakeconservation.org. So it's real easy to find us. Just And if you don't, even, if you don't remember that, when you're doing Google, Type in snake conservation and we'll pop right up. Go to our donation page and you can make a donation via PayPal or you can mail us a check. Or if you want, you can go to um, um, Network for Good and they'll take a donation for you and then they'll make sure that we get the money. So three different ways. You can mail it to us. Our website's on our, our address is on the website. You can go to our website and donate via PayPal. Um, just remember snake conservation is your Google search or snakeconservation.org. Very easy. Um, or network for good. A lot of people like to go in through a, a large network like that, network for good, and they'll, they'll make sure the donation gets here. All right. Um, thanks, and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Stay snake-spired. <laughs> I love it. All right. Talk to you guys later.